Well, you gotta hand it to him. He had a dream and he made it happen. That's what the Wright brothers did. So, how's your boyfriend Orville doing? Ex-boyfriend, if you don't mind. And who cares? He's probably off in a barn somewhere working on a contraption with that weird brother of his. Ew. Ha-ha, <laughs> 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 bitch! You're so pretty, I miss you. Well, I guess we ought to call it a night. Come on, Stewie, up to bed. No party? Oh, come on, I was gonna show a slideshow of all those silly photos I took of Meg. Wolf! Wolf! Did you hear that? Somebody needs help! Let's go! Ah! Oh my god! Charles! Oh my god! I'll run and get help! No! No! We've got to carry him! We can't leave him here! There's a wolf! Um, there's not really a wolf. What? Oh, my kids. I love them. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> this was so funny in my head when I planned it. Well, now that I've wrapped things up with you guys, I better wrap things up with my basement family. Well, did you guys learn your lesson about eating uncooked antelope? And if he's not smothering me, he's keeping me up all night writing with that giant plume of his. Dearest Augustine, I do hope this latest damp has not aggravated your gray lung. Dip, 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 dip. Matters stateside have taken a tragic turn as this year's gourd crop has fallen prey to a rather unexpected infestation of salt marsh cutworms. Dip, 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 dip. Peter, it's four in the morning. Come to bed. Marital concerns continue to bedevil me. Peter, you joined the tea party? That's right, Brian. I finally got something better to do with my Saturdays than sit at the mall and watch Japanese girls laugh at normal conversation. So I drove to work this morning? <laughs> Stop for coffee? <laughs> so there's a Starbucks near my house? <laughs> you people are a circus. Peter, you blew up their marriage. This was a huge mistake. Well, we've all made mistakes. Eh. Ah, ah, ah. Why did the sign say not an exit? It should have just said Gorilla Door! Ah. All right, movie night. I am so psyched for Reindeer Games. What? I thought we were watching La Vie en Rose. Yeah, what do you mean? Reindeer Games is great. Everything goes wrong on the one day it has to go right. But La Vie en Rose is a beautiful movie about the real-life tragedy of Edith Piaf. Usually Peter would break the tie. Well, Peter isn't here, is he? Because you were supposed to be watching him, but you were smoking marijuana and he drowned! What? No, he's in a PTA meeting. Where the hell did you get that story? I don't know. I just can't stand it when he's not here. Whoa, whoa, Quagmire. You know I could arrest you just for saying that. You know what else you can get arrested for? Soliciting a rooster. I don't know what this cock-a-doodle-doo thing is, but it sounds gay and it sounds scatological. I'm in. You're about to have a neat day. Mayor West, you can be a captain. All right, I pick you. You can't pick me. I'm a captain. No one had ever stood up to me like that before. I respected him from there on out. That's a great story, Grandpa. I didn't like it. None of my grandchildren had ever disliked one of my stories before. From then on, he was my favorite. Well, I don't like that story, Great Grandpa. Ah! Future old people are wizards. You know how the Asians look 30 until they're 60? This is why. Of course, then they suddenly look 100, but cross their bridge, you know? Is this a Japanese thing? No, Chinese. The Japanese have a whole other thing going on. Hey, you want to see a movie? No, nah, we're Japanese. Let's go watch a schoolgirl bang an octopus. Yeah! But I, I, I don't understand it. I thought you were dead. Well, <laughs> I'm not. I don't believe you. God, is that true? God? God, are you there? Come on, don't touch yourself. You're God. Oh, please, Brian. You're just two people who live in the same house. If you didn't, you'd never hang out with each other in a million years. He owns you. You're his property. He used to hang you in the garage so his fender wouldn't hit the wall. You're there. You're there! I couldn't hear you. The radio was too loud.
We're here live in our studio where a checkout girl in a cheap dress who wants to be a model is ready to draw the winning numbers. E! That's a three, honey. Turn it around. This! 31. Spooky ghost mouth! That's a zero. Snowman! Eight. Two sailboats! 44. 17! No, that's... Oh, yes, that is 17. She's good at 17. All right, then let's do it. Tomorrow night. Good. I'm just gonna have to reschedule my weekly re-circumcision. So what are we doing today? A little off the top? Yeah, but leave a little up front so I have something to play with. Sounds good. And take a look at the back. You see that there? Yeah. Yeah, let's trim that. I don't know when that started, but let's get rid of that. We gotta protect bald eagles? Bald eagles should be allowed to make their own decisions. Honey, I don't care that you're bald. I find you just as attractive. It's not about you. It's about my confidence as an eagle architect. Just for Eagles will give you thicker, fuller, more natural hair, so you can just focus on Eagle stuff. You're an excellent architect.